Da -da -da. It has been a while since I've done a Gymshark review. Okay, wait, it hasn't been that long because I did review the Whitney Simmons collection, but it has been a while since I've done a review of some kind of underhyped Gymshark stuff. So we got a little variety today. To me lately, Gymshark has truly been the definition of hit or miss. There have been designs from them that I'm like, this is beautiful, like a really quality gym piece. And then there's designs that I'm kind of like, why? And today we will be reviewing some of those whys. We got the new Hyper Amplify Seamless Collection, which I've said it before, but I thought that the original Gymshark Amplify Seamless Collection was one of their ugliest collections ever. This one is a little bit better because I think the colors they chose were better, but I will just never get over that taupe and coral Amplify set. I just thought it was the ugliest color in the whole world. And again, I'm sorry if you like it, but personally I just was like, I also got their updated Studio Seamless leggings, which I reviewed their original Studio Seamless a while ago. And they were actually like the best thing I reviewed like of the haul I got that day. And then I got their new chalk collection. There are some things I don't understand, like the adjustable legging waistband. It's just, it's just a little off for me. So we're gonna try these on, we're gonna review them. We're gonna unbiasedly see how these are. In case you're new here, my name is Catherine. I do a lot of unsponsored, unbiased, honest reviews here. I'm not affiliated with Gymshark. I did purchase all of these with my own money. So it's going to be 100% honest. So before we get into the video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I did just want to mention for the people who don't follow me on Instagram or don't like watch my Instagram stories as closely, I do have a new monthly giveaway system. If you've been following me for a while, I do a monthly giveaway for the people who use my codes and links. If you use any of my codes, you can enter the giveaway and two winners every month get a $50 gift card to any activewear website of their choice. So I now have a new system. It's on my website linked down below, but it is now open to anyone. So you don't have to use any of my links or codes or make a purchase. You can just enter by like following me on social media. There's like a bunch of different ways for you to enter. You can get extra entries by sharing with friends, things like that. And for the people who are still using my codes and links to support me, you can get five additional entries for every time you use my codes or links. So there's still a little bonus for people who do use my codes, but it's now fully international. Literally anyone can enter. Just one of my little ways to give back to you guys. So make sure to enter that in the links down below. And also because I know I'm going to get questions, I'm wearing the Camo Fitness Ellen Tank in scooter time tie-dye. I will also link this down below. And if you want to get a giveaway entry, I do have a code. It's just my name, Catherine. So yes, chatting aside, let's jump into the review. First things first, we have the Hyper Amplify Seamless in the lime green color. I was kind of disappointed that they didn't have any like tops that went with this. The other colors of the Amplify Seamless had like matching crop tops and stuff, and this one just didn't have anything. So I won't be trying this on as a set, unfortunately. These were $60, which is kind of expensive for Gymshark, to be honest. I guess I haven't been paying attention to their price as much recently but $60 is definitely on the upper end for them. It does kind of feel like a summery color to me. They have a thick ribbed waistband with some of the lime green color, lime green panel detailing down the side of the leg. They have the lime green coming into like a little widow's peak booty contour detail. And they do have one of those little raised pseudo seams to kind of separate the glutes a little bit. Just some other very subtle, small little details down the leg. The base of this legging is a marled material, but it doesn't feel nearly as thick as like the camo seamless, their animal seamless anything like that. It definitely does feel a little bit on the thinner side. If you've been watching my Gymshark reviews for a while, I hate the Gymshark logos so, so, so much. They're just the worst quality little press on logos. I'm wearing a pair of super old Gymshark joggers and literally half the logo has just like peeled off and the rest of it is probably gonna come off like next time I wash them. It appears at least on these leggings that they've kind of changed the logo a little bit and it's actually like knit into the fabric and it's not one of those little press on vinyls. So it's actually gonna like stay on. It's like they finally listened to all my complaints about the logos. This is what I like to see some improvements that is leaving these leggings on a good note. So let's try them on. All right, so these actually took quite a bit of finagling to get up on. These are my normal Gymshark size small. If anything, sometimes in Gymshark, I feel like it's too big. So I would say these definitely run on like the smaller side of Gymshark. On a positive note, the waistband is nice and snug on my waist, which has been a problem with some Gymshark seamless stuff lately. So I'm glad to see that it is nice and on my waist and not gaping or anything. It's kind of doing that thing where you can see part of the gusset from the front, but it's not too bad. I would say it's not gathering too much around this area and definitely that I don't have any extra fabric. So I would say if you're in between, definitely size up, but otherwise pretty true to size. They definitely are quite a thin legging. I can definitely see a little of my like underwear like from underneath kind of popping through. They're actually pretty flattering on the glutes. Like I didn't expect it to like kind of hug the bottom part so well. They do have that kind of upper contour, which adds a little bit of shape. But to be quite honest, um, these are high on the booty scale. I feel like my booty looks pretty good. This is 
straight on from the back. I don't think this little glue contour line does a whole lot, but maybe just enhances a little bit more. Since they're pretty snug on me, they're about a medium compression. I wouldn't say they're as hugging and high compression as like the camo leggings or anything. I actually kind of like these. I really didn't expect it. Probably just this color. Like I also liked the blue color actually, but I'm not a huge fan of the coral color, but this lime green color, I'm kind of feeling it. I wish I had a lime green sports bra to wear with this because it's kind of fun. Sorry, my couch over here is kind of a mess. Wanted to do a quick little sit down test. They don't come up very high. I'd say they're like maybe medium to high rise. I pulled them up a little bit. Looks like they're actually not like rolling down too bad and rebounded pretty well. I feel like they could just be maybe a little bit higher on me and they also are definitely like quite a 7 8 length. Um, sometimes this length on seamless leggings looks a little bit awkward for me so I wish they were a little bit longer. They're definitely not for my tall girls but yeah not too bad. So I actually just noticed this as I was taking the leggings off, but the outside of the leggings is the gray color, but the entire inside is lined with like the lime green. So kind of when you like stretch out the leggings, you see a little more lime green color. So I think that's kind of interesting. And then super quickly, I feel like I often neglect the short options if Gymshark has shorts. So I just thought I would get the Hyper Amplify shorts. These are $40, which is kind of insane to me that they are like almost exactly the same as the leggings, except the leggings just have some extra fabric on the legs and they're $20 cheaper. They're actually like two thirds of the price. That's pretty crazy to me. These have the same thick ribbed waistband, same little booty contour detail, one of those little contour details right under the glutes. And then we have the front. This is a darker gray color, but as you can see, it is still a marl and the coral definitely pops out again this. I feel like this is definitely a little more harsh of a color contrast than the light gray and the lime green. Personally, I like the light gray and lime green a little better just because this is like monkey butt contour, which I am moving away from the monkey butt contours. I just don't really think they're all that flattering to be quite honest. Anyways, these look like about a four inch inseam. You can do a little measurement for you guys, but let's try these on. All right, so here are the shorts. I also got these in a size small and they're definitely longer than I expected them to be. I actually measured the inseam and they were about like six to seven inches. So for some people, they might consider these biker shorts. I consider these kind of like a mid length short. I do actually prefer longer length shorts because they roll up less often. So I'm actually kind of here for this length. They're also not squishing down my thighs very much at all, actually. I wouldn't say they're like really tight on this bottom band. So that's another plus. Very similar in compression to the leggings. Um, maybe just a teeny bit higher compression because sometimes shorts fit a little bit smaller. Um, I definitely size up if in between, but this is a small and I would say this is kind of like my normal short size and it's fine. I feel like on this color combination, since the coral is a lot more like stark of a contrast, I'm not as much of a fan of it like on the glute area. I feel like this peak detail goes down a little Little too far and actually like isn't really giving as much like lift to my glutes it's actually feeling like it's kind of like pushing them down a little bit i don't know i just don't feel like this color specifically is super enhancing especially since this goes so low so i feel like this coral color is kind of a no for me the contour detail is placed really well though i didn't have to pull up a lot and it goes right underneath the glutes doing a little like mark chain kind of thing that would roll them up they actually stay put pretty well so they're pretty solid shorts i think this color is just not personally my thing, but yeah, they're definitely not the worst. They're pretty stretchy, so yeah. Since the lime green didn't have any matching colored tops, I got a matching top for the shorts. This is the Hyper Amplify long sleeve crop top, which is the same price as the shorts. It's made out of the same material as the leggings. It's the marl material and they have a couple little details. So they have that same better quality logo that isn't a little vinyl, it's actually embroidered into the fabric. Then they have a little contour detailing and then they have a section of like the gray marl and then a section of the solid coral and then kind of like a mixture of the two colors in here. You can kind of see it's a little more coral than gray. And then the bottom bra band is a little more impressive. And usually I love when the Gymshark long sleeve crop tops have little thumb holes. This one doesn't have thumb holes. Why would you sacrifice the best part of the crop top? All right, anyways, got a small in this, so let's try it on. All right, so here's when I feel like a true superhero. Sometimes some of Gymshark's designs, when you put them in a set, they just look a little, I don't know, like, like almost like comic book-like once you put them on. 
Personally, I wouldn't wear these two together because it's just like a lot for me. This is the crop top. Compared to some of Gymshark's other seamless materials, I would say that this is actually like a pretty soft one, especially in the top. It definitely feels really soft. It's not like at all that like super like kind of rough, marl, itchy feeling that I feel like some of their leggings can have sometimes. It's definitely super stretchy. This is a small, sometimes I size up to a medium in their tops just for a little extra room. It's staying put pretty well when I lift my arms. It doesn't roll up and show my sports bra underneath, so that's good. There are no cutouts or anything in the back, so you can wear any kind of sports bra you want under this, and it's not gonna show. I'd say it's a pretty good length. You do get a couple inches of midriff showing. I wish they offered some other kind of sports bra or like other top because, I don't know, my go-to top is never a long sleeve crop top. Like if I'm going to wear a top to the gym, it's either going to be like kind of like a tank that goes to the top of my leggings or a sports bra. And I feel like I don't see a lot of other people wear long sleeve crop tops very much. So I'm kind of not understanding why Gymshark always makes the long sleeve crop top. Anyways, here are some of the details. A little couple contour details in the front, some along the side of the arm, a lot on the sides, like under the armpit, and then a couple on the back and no thumb holes or anything. But even for my, I guess, longer than average arms, because I'm pretty tall, it does hit my wrists and doesn't look weird, so. Okay, I really don't have a lot of hope for this item, but as I was doing a little shopping on the website, I truly couldn't resist. We have the Studio All-in-One, AKA the Unitard. The word Unitard has always made me laugh. I don't know if that's a word that's really used outside of like the dance gymnastics world, but this to me will always be a Unitard, not an All-in-One. Okay, this is kind of wild to me. It's saying that this was only $50 and the Gymshark Studio leggings were $60. So you're actually getting a full outfit because I mean, this is a full outfit for literally under the price of the leggings alone. That's kind of wild to me. And this is actually looking pretty cool in a couple ways. Usually I struggle with pieces like this because I do have a long torso. So if you're wondering if your long torso will fit in this, allow me to let you know. It's in this kind of faded black color and it's got some interesting little details here. I'm actually really appreciating the effort that they've put into this so far as the top part, because it does have kind of like a little contour area for like where like the, the girls go. You Usually for a unitard, I kind of wouldn't expect much in terms of like a built-in bra, but they actually have removable cup pads in this and a total, like basically an entire built-in like sports bra into the top of this. So that's actually pretty good. I do kind of hate when they do this boob outline thing because usually my girls don't really fit into the provided area. And I just had to show, unfortunately, they do have the same little cheap gym truck. Vinyl again. Move away from this. There's a little compressive region underneath the sports bra area. They have a compressive contour above the glutes, a little compressive contour below the glutes. I've seen some like fitness one pieces that are truly just like fabric and like nothing else. This actually does have a lot of effort into it. The straps may be a little thin and a little uncomfortable. We'll see when that's on. And then they have kind of this delicate like floral pattern detail into the pants part. So, okay, I'm actually kind of excited about this. So let's try it on. I'm halfway into getting these leggings on and I'm just losing hope because I have the leggings on. And by the way, this black color feels a little bit tighter than the taupe trying to work it on. But I'm already to this point. It's already like at the crotch area where it needs to be. And it still has a ways to go before it's going to cover me. I'm a little concerned. Let's, let's take a moment and then return. So remember when I was getting kind of excited about this set and I was like, wow, these are some great features. I take it all back. These one piece things, I just don't understand them. This looks so bad. I feel like I'm in a wrestling singlet. I had to struggle to get any sort of coverage up here. And in reality, this should be like several inches farther up. It is pulling hard in this region. People will be commenting down below. You should have sized up or something, but listen to me this. If I'm a size small in their leggings and sports bras, I should be a size small in this, right? Like if I got a size medium, it'd be too big in some other region. I feel like the solution is to have multiple torso lengths, but Gymshark already doesn't have very great sizing to begin with. So why would I expect them to have multiple torso lengths? So as we can see, the boob area is in the middle of my waist. So that's not ideal. Uh, this is quite uncomfortable. The straps are definitely going to leave marks on me. None of this waist area is anywhere close to my body. It's like those ill-fitting one pieces that are just like not even close to you. We have a ton of space here. This part is very uncomfortable because it's wanting to pull up and then it's also too short on me. Probably one of my worst gym looks. You will never find me <laughs> outside of my apartment in something like this. Regardless of how it's fitting me, I just don't really understand how these are very flattering because you don't really get a lot of waist definition because you don't have any like separation 
attention to the outfit. I feel like I always look very like boxy and like childlike in these. And in addition, because the back is so like out there and not actually hugging my body, it makes my glutes look very flat because it just kind of goes all in one. So this was a fail if I've ever seen one. Other activewear companies out there, don't be going for this one piece trend. It's not it. It literally only fits like one torso length. Like I don't understand how that's a good idea. So that's it for this. Maybe should I squat test this? I don't even know. Next, we have these studio leggings in the color taupe, and these are $60, which is more expensive than that one piece, which still blows my mind. I guess maybe I tried the Studio Seamless last time. I'm just forgetting like the exact name, but these are just called the Studio Leggings. They actually look like a pretty solid pair of seamless leggings. They have a thick ribbed waistband, totally seamless in the front. And there are just some plain areas of fabric, but then it goes down into a super, very subtle, like delicate floral type detail, which I think is really cute and definitely very subtle for these seamless leggings. And then the back has a very subtle, like widow's peak, contour detailing, which is just a little bit extra compressive. And then they have one of those under booty contours, which is also made of a slightly different texture. I still can be here for an occasional under booty contour if it's done right. And usually if it adds a little bit of compression to kind of like lift your glutes up a little bit. This one's also super subtle and not like a really dramatic color difference, which I also like. So yeah, these feel like a nice stretchy kind of heavyweight wintery legging material. So let's see how they go. All right, so here are the studio leggings. And just after trying on the Amplify leggings, I will say that these definitely feel like a higher quality seamless material. It's like this super thick ribbed material. I love the little like very subtle floral details, super stretchy. I'm not feeling any restriction. And it was just a lot easier to get on because the material just has so much more stretch than the Amplify seamless material. They're about the same level of compression, I'd say about a medium compression. They do feel slightly thicker though. So I feel like if you're in like a colder climate and you wanna wear like slightly warmer leggings, these are definitely a warmer pair of leggings. I actually really like the color too. It's kind of like a dark purpley, like kind of taupe shade. The waistband could be just a tad more snug on me. When I bend over, I do get that little gaping thing. It's not too bad and it might be because I'm pulling them up maybe a little higher than I should be. I'm pulling them up around like a little bit above my belly button, kind of where I like my leggings to hit. I'd say that these have more room in the waist than the Amplify leggings. And if you're in between sizes for these, I might size down because they're actually quite stretchy. They also hit a little bit lower on me, so they're a little more full length. I'd give these maybe a medium to high on the booty scale. Not quite a high, but I do feel like they're pretty flattering. We have some contour details around the glutes. The glute contour actually sits really well right under the glutes and it's very subtle as well. And I also would expect to get some cellulite coverage out of these because they just have a thick kind of rib material and I would expect that to cover up cellulite pretty well. Not sure about sweat, I would kind of expect them to be decently sweat proof, but I don't really know. Sit tests, these do go up a little bit higher, so they might roll down a little bit, but the waistband is pretty stiff and sturdy. It rebounds pretty well, so I'd say they're good for the sit test. I kind of expected these ones to be the best because last time I tried the Studio Seamless Leggings, they were pretty good. Definitely would say that these are a solid Gymshark Seamless Legging. Even if you're not super into patterns, the pattern is really subtle, like I can't even really see it in my mirror. Yeah, I would say that these are also pretty solid. Next, we're testing out a couple pieces from the Chalk Collection. I have to say this print really isn't my favorite. And I feel like on a lot of the models on the website, this Chalk Collection kind of looked a little bit ill-fitting. Like I feel like, especially on the leggings, I saw extra fabric around like the crotch area. And I don't know, it was just a little bit off to me. And I don't think it was the models. I think it was just like the leggings were just a little bit weird on them. Anyways, we got this sports bra. It does have removable cups and it's in like kind of a performance sleek material. Here's the print close up. It's definitely not a brush material. It's kind of like sleek performance, a little bit cool to the touch. Little crisscross front, little details in the back. And they have this little adjustable section. I had some people message me before I bought these. They were like, oh, you should review this because I haven't seen a lot of sports bras with this adjustable section. I'm gonna tell you right now, there are definitely a lot of sports bras out there with this adjustable section, especially because this one doesn't look like it's going to be a true high impact sports bra. I'd guess like probably like a medium support. So if you're looking for a sports bra, like truly with like an adjustable little side thing like this, Yvette has great sports bras like that and she fit I've heard of as well that also has adjustable things here. Just throwing some of those out there because I feel like some people thought this was like truly like new and innovative, but I've definitely seen this before. So let's just try it on. 
All right, the sports bra isn't too bad. It is one of those wrap bras, which sometimes can be hard to do the wrap bras. Sometimes they're like a lot of cleavage. And I definitely feel like I am getting cleavage, but I have really good coverage on the sides and I don't feel like I'm gonna fall out or anything. So I would say that the coverage is decent. And in terms of support, it's like a light to medium. I don't really feel super supported. I guess we can try adjusting this little strap dude, which I don't really, it's not very easy to adjust. I adjusted it a little bit, but I feel like where I'm lacking support is kind of in the fact that this fabric is just kind of cheap and flimsy. It's really not like supporting me and hugging me. So the fact that I can tighten the bra band isn't really creating any more support. It's just like making it tighter along my rib cage. And I feel like making it tighter also kind of interferes with this wrap detail since it's like tighter on this and it creates a kind of like cut into this girl over here. So I'm not truly a fan of this design. Then the back is pretty plain just okay. I really don't like this pattern. I think it's a strange pattern. Wouldn't be my go-to. I don't really feel very lifted in this sports bra. Even for smaller girls, I just don't really think it's the most flattering. And yeah, I could have done a little bit better on the sports bra. Last pair of leggings, the chalk leggings. These were $45, which see, these are cheaper than those other seamless ones. I don't get it. Made of the same material as the sports bra. These do have a seam at the top of the waistband. I don't really know why Gymshark has not gotten rid of the top band on their waistbands when literally like every other brand has. I don't understand. They do have a very subtle front seam, but you can't really tell. And I feel like it's probably not going to be very invasive. Little mesh panel detail at the back of the leg. They do have slightly curved seams in the back. I'm not sure how high they're gonna sit on your waist. And then this is the true reason why I had to try these leggings. They have this weird like cross belt adjustable situation like the sports bra, which I just feel like is weird. Like I understand an adjustable waist on a pair of pants that doesn't have any stretch to them, but for leggings, the waistband can be stretchy. So I don't really understand why you would need it to be adjustable, but anyway, we're gonna see. Maybe it'll help. Maybe this will be the new thing in leggings. I don't know. Just a little close up of the adjustable thing. You just move this little like, almost like bra hook clasp into the other little spots. Ever since that one piece, I just feel like this video has really taken a turn for the worse. I don't know what these leggings remind me of, but they remind me of like an old pair of Gymshark leggings I tried once before that just did not fit well at all, had weird fabric in weird places, were tight in weird places. I'm gonna figure out what they were. Give me a minute. Okay, I kind of feel like they remind me of multi-texture Gymshark leggings. Guys, these leggings are just not it. I can tell why they are cheaper than the seamless leggings because this material just honestly feels really awful. Like it is so tight. Like you can see how tight this is in my crotch, yet somehow there's like loose material like how do you do how how do you do both it is also like a true mid-rise i cannot pull it above this point so if you're looking for a mid-rise legging i just feel like this is like so much torso showing i also feel like it makes like, my legs short somehow then you go into the back your glutes look saggy because the seam line goes in the middle of your glutes and that's not doing any lifting i have like no fabric left around like the knee area it's like super tight down here and this fabric really doesn't have a lot of stretch to it or anything i just don't understand why gymshark doesn't just focus on their leggings that are actually like decent. Like those studio leggings were actually really nice and these just feel really cheaply made. No one talks about them because they're just really not that cute. Like why even make these? And on top of all this, they have this weird adjustable waistband and let's see if it actually does anything. All right, so we have a belt, interesting concept. And let's do it like a little bit tighter, even though the waistband on these actually wasn't that loose. I guess it kind of tightens, but like at what cost? Like this is like a very strange design for me and I'm really not here for it. They have these pretty small pockets Pockets, considering smartphone size these days. And yeah, I just do not feel flattered at all in these leggings. I don't know if they're gonna be cellulite friendly in this print, maybe they are, but in the other solid colors, probably not. But these are an absolute no for me. Stay away, not here for it. On to our final thing. I spent like $400 on Gymshark. Like I just kept adding stuff to my cart and they were they just launch so much stuff every week. I don't even know how the athletes do it. They can't possibly get every single thing. That's gonna be overwhelming. Anyways, I got the training joggers. Got them in a size medium. They definitely feel a little less soft than the joggers I'm wearing. I think that these were like the ARC joggers, but I got them on sale like two years ago. They're definitely not sold anymore. But yeah, this fabric is definitely not 
quite as nice. They were only $35 though, so that's pretty good for like Gymshark prices considering that those Amplify shorts were literally more expensive than that. You have just kind of your classic sweatpant waistband with a little drawstring. And as you can see, the fabric is not like brushed or anything. It wouldn't say it's like super cozy soft. And the inside of them is also not fleece lined or anything. So it's not gonna be super fuzzy and warm. Still just a little vinyl press on logo. I got really excited with that Amplify set that Gymshark was changing their logos. And I guess they're not. Little cuffs at the bottom of these and the pockets are just plain pockets. They're not zip pockets or anything. Mine are actually zip pockets. These were nice joggers. I wish they'd come back with these. Anyways, let's try this on. All right, and here we go with the joggers. They're a size medium, which I don't feel like should be this big considering those Gymshark joggers I was wearing in the intro were also medium. This feels like a men's medium. Are these men's joggers? I really thought they were women's. It just says training bottoms. Like maybe I messed up. I don't know what this is. Yeah, wouldn't recommend these. Not only are they huge, but they're also just not very soft. I want soft joggers. It's 2021. I need to be wearing comfy clothes. This is what it looks like when I tighten it up. And I just don't think that's the cutest look. Don't really feel like rambling much about these because there's not much to say. They look saggy. They don't look great. At least they're kind of almost a full length. All right, guys. So that's it for the review. Like I said in the beginning, I knew what happened. Super hit or miss. I liked the one color of those hyper amplify leggings and I liked the studio seamless leggings and the studio one piece disaster. Didn't love the other colors of the amplify. This chalk collection just feels like it was an afterthought for Gymshark and I truly don't understand it. The fabric feels so bad. I feel like this video is going to be super long. Um, leave me a comment down below if I should like split these up by like category next time. Like should I have done a just chalk? review and just amplify review or do you kind of like when I review a bunch of different Gymshark collections in one? Let me know. Either way, give this video a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it. Again, a reminder to subscribe and a reminder about my new monthly giveaway in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!